Welcome back to my channel, Miss Peggy here, all the way from North Texas, and um, I want to welcome all the new subscribers, and I'm well over 5,000 subscribers now, and I'm so tickled for that. I want to thank every one of you from the bottom of my heart. Thank you for subscribing. If you're here and you didn't subscribe, please hit that subscribe button down there. And hit that like button too. So, um, today is Tuesday, February the 8th. We had a penny list. And it was mostly the NCI stuff. Now, Miss Peggy's been doing videos almost four years, penny shopping. And I've never really been very good at the NCI stuff. Um, I've never ever just concentrated on the NCI stuff. I've always just gone to every store. When it got to the NCI stores, I would look for what I was there to look for, but I would go on to the other stores too, like 15 of them. Well, today <coughs> I decided I'm not gonna concentrate on the medicine. I'm just gonna concentrate on the NCI stuff. So I made me a list of just my NCI store. And when you're looking at the Dollar General app and you're changing from store to store, when you're on the page with the map where you pick the little icon of which store you want to be at, when you're on that page, before you tap a particular store on the map, up in the right hand corner, it says filter. So if you tap on that filter, and then another screen comes up and it says DG Fines, click that little box, DG Fines, and then hit Apply, and it will just bring up the map with just the NCI stores only. So I did that, and you know, I have like $15 generals that I go to, but with just the NCI stores, I was down to like six, seven. So those are the ones I went to so before we get into that I want to I got a couple of uh, cards here from a couple of y'all so I want to open them right quick and uh, see what y'all sent me I'm always so excited and then I'll get to what I found I want to show you all I'm so excited about what I found I thought I did pretty good but let's see this one is from Angela Middleton in Scott Hills, Tennessee. Ooh, she's over there by Memphis. Ooh, and you know who lives by Memphis? What is it? Uh, the Country Couponer. She lives by Memphis. And she and I met whenever she was in town on vacation. And, uh, and that's a whole nother video right there, but that's who I know that lives in Memphis. But um, let me get this open. Let me see. I should just go right to my handy scissors that y'all sent me. And see what's in here. See what Angela sent me. Thinking of you. Aw, a little card in a card. And wishing you and Robert brighter days ahead. Love and prayers, Angela. Oh, thank you, Angela. Look at that card. Isn't that pretty? With a bunch of flowers on it. And this thank you. Oh, look at that. You know what, Angela? I've got that other dollar in here somewhere that you sent me. It's in here. <laughs> I'm going to dig it out. But I know... Look at that, like a little piece of candy. Isn't that cool? Angela, you are so talented. I love that. And you know what? I'm going to dig that other dollar out because she folded a heart and sent it to me. Isn't that beautiful? That is so cool. Thank you. Thank you, Angela. I just love that. And then this one is from Bonnie Johnson. Now, Bonnie Johnson has sent me stuff before. She's in Sioux Falls, South Dakota. And um, thank you, Bonnie. Bonnie has watched me for a while. She's been around for a little while. So thank you, Bonnie. 
I get to know y'all when y'all send me cards and stuff, and I, I read your name over and over again, <laughs> but thank you, thank you. Oh, Valentine's. Oh, look at that. Bonnie Johnson, South Dakota. Wishing you a happy Valentine's Day. Thank you so much. Happy Valentine's from South Dakota. <coughs> well, I'm going to put that right up there because those are my Valentine cards that y'all have sent Robert and I. That's got a little coffee cup on the back. Isn't that sweet? I just love that. Thank you, thank you, thank you. For all the cards so yes today was penny shopping day so let me scoot this bucket over and i want to let cheryl know cheryl i still got your earrings here in this cup i will be sending them now that the storm has cleared because i'm not going out in the storm today is the first day i've really been out since that storm hit i did run to the corner up here and get some ice cream and soda but that's about it so at this store and i'll tell you what when i was telling you about penny shopping today this nci list brought out more penny shoppers than i've ever seen at one time in my dollar generals it was fun um i saw a couple of people that i've run into quite often and one lady she and I always smile at each other and say hi, and, and we know each other's face well. So I saw her around the corner, so I peeked my head around the corner and go, hi. And she said hi to me, you know. We, we you know, I just love to say hi when I recognize y'all. So, yeah, I saw some of y'all out today. And like I said, there would be five to seven of them at one store in the NCI area. And everybody's got their phone. Uh, I I really wished I had a video taped it because it was really a sight to see that we're all in there Dollar General penny shopping for them penny flowers and that NCI stuff today. And I'll tell you, one of the ladies that I saw uh, that I see a lot penny shopping, she found um, that uh, cutting board that was on the list and it was in her basket and I recognized it right off. I go, oh, you found the cutting board. She was like, yeah, I did that. I was like, well, that's a lucky find. So congratulations on that cutting board, girl. So anyway, at this store, ta -da, I found a few placemats. Now, these are kind of the colors of some of them that has pennied. Now, why I say that, because they're the flowery, spring-looking ones. And um, these are all the same color. But let me show you the barcode, because this is the one that pennied. Um, let me read that to you, because it's kind of small. It says 0731432. Seven one eight zero, and this is a pretty pattern. Now I also didn't know, and I want to thank Cheryl. I don't know why I didn't know this, but she was like, "Well, don't forget to look for the coasters and the placemats that match." I was like, I had no idea. Uh, you know, I use the coasters quite frequently, but I didn't know that the placemats matched. Um, those so thank you Cheryl for giving me that shout out for that because I didn't know now I went to another store and I found a, another bunch of the same these are the exact same as those so I've got at least 15 of them and Cheryl said that these placemats being plastic are good for under the sink that's a good idea, Cheryl, because I think my bathroom sink, I could just put two of them and it would fill up that space under there. That sounds like a good idea. And also, I was thinking that I have a refrigerator that has wire racks in there instead of plastic racks or glass racks. And I didn't notice, really, 
that all the shells had wire racks in them until I got it home. But I had bought like the cheapest refrigerator because I don't believe I need all them perks and bells and whistles. So I just got the cheapest one that I think it was at the um, Home Depot. And um, when I got home, there were wire racks. And sometimes in a wire rack, when you set stuff on the edge, it'll teeter a little. So I was thinking I'm going to put these in my refrigerator and that'll keep that stuff off the wire rack plus i can wash them pretty good so yeah i'll put them under the sink or in the fridge you know you could cut them in into size and you could put them in the be bottom of your vegetable bin in your refrigerator but this is a coaster now this was a penny now, i know it's chipped right there i bought it anyway but it's just a penny but you know, I don't care if it's chipped out there, if I'm just using it on the back porch or sitting by my bed or something. And I could just take and paint that and match the color. You wouldn't even notice it. But anyway, this is a coaster that is a penny. Now, I don't know if, it, if it's an old penny or if it's new with this penny. Because these don't have dates on the back of them. But here is the barcode for it. And, um, yeah. So this was a good find. A little coaster. And um, then I went to another store. And I found these. I was real tickled to find them too. So they match. So two stores, I got two stacks of there. One store, I got these. So that's three stores it took me to find these that matches. Now, you know, I tell you all the time, Robert and I use these coasters so these can go in my cabinet. So when we break one or it gets old, because they do wear out. I mean, eventually they might break or uh, they just get old and look real funky and you got to replace it. But here's the barcode for that one. So that's two different coasters that I got. Now, these are part of the Bumblebee stuff. I found these. Now, I just picked them up and put them in my basket because I was really pretty sure the, the beehive stuff is what a lot of us was looking for today. So, these is a spoon rest. So, uh, yeah. Now, this barcode is very, very small. I don't know if you can even scan it like that. But, I don't mind reading it to you. But, it is small. It's 7864608833321. And, they're just little beehive spoon rest so if you see anything that says the beehive on it scan it so i got three of these so one of them's going in my kitchen and then i don't know i might put the other two in the yard sale but <laughs> i definitely like those because you always have to have a spoon thing for your stove because when you're cooking a pot of beans or some soup or cooking dinner, you need somewhere to put the spoon. Okay, so then this door. I was real excited. I found this. Now, a lot of the penny flowers are light colors, like spring. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? It is artificial. And it is pink. Now, some of the pink tags have pennied. Like this particular vase, if you see this vase, it is the one that pennied. Now, this is a pink tag, but I scanned some at the same store that had a pink tag that was not a penny. 
So you can't just go by the pink tag, but if it has a pink tag, scan it. Because this one is a, a $12 pink artist artistry design. And here is the little barcode for it. Now, anytime y'all put in the comments and stuff, y'all are y'all still want to have a barcode or something. I always try to answer those comments and tell y'all the barcodes. So I do read the comments, and then on um, Thursday I had the comment call that I call it the comment answer, and um, there's the barcode right there. And then, this one is for the B spoon holder. You, <coughs> you can get the barcode off of there. Now, I had to be real careful because a lot of this stuff today was glass stuff. Now, this store, another one of these so there's another pattern that I saw Monday that looks a lot like this it's, it's the same shade of colors like that but it's a little bit different and it is a penny too and I took that picture and um, I didn't even make it back to that store because it it was an NCI store but when I made my loop it was here and I started here and when I made my loop and come back, I stopped here and I never made it back to that store. So I don't know if somebody else found those coasters because I just left them right there on the shelf where I found them. So they might have. And then this is the Melanta, what's on the penny list. Now, what I can tell you about this is a hint is this penny one is taller than the new ones. The new ones are like this tall. And this one stands up over. So the new ones are smaller. This one, that penny, is bigger. So, uh, yeah. I just, you know, when I was at those stores, I just ran by the medicine aisle and just take a peek and see if. And this is good till March of 2023. So, um... You know, you always want to check the expiration dates, but I'm going to put this in my yard sale because it's antacid and anti-gas, and, you know, Robert and I just don't have that, thank thank goodness. But, um, yeah, that's going right in my yard sale because it will be good for a while. Now, this door got some more glass vases in here this now these are artificial but they're kind of like the cactus look or i don't know what you would call that but the fern i guess ferns but uh yeah it's the eight dollar artistry and like i said i didn't find any of these that had dates on them that was a penny but there's the barcode for that one and I actually found two of these, and they were on the top shelf in the very back. Now, by the time I got to the fourth store, I was starting to hardly find any any stuff, especially the flowers and stuff, because there was so many people out. I mean, this was just a, I guess it was just a, like a reunion day. <coughs> I guess us penny shoppers, we really love the NCI pennies. So, uh, now, this is my last bag. And I love this. And these are daffodils. Look at that. Orange daffodils. And I love these flowers. These This basket particularly, I mean, $10. And... It doesn't have a date on it either, but this one is in a basket, just a wicker basket, and they're daffodils. 
and the barcode on here let me just read it because there's no way you're going to be able to know that but it's seven four four one six two nine four seven eight seven one and they're just orange daffodils and i'm not sure why these would penny right now because my daffodils are fixing to come up in texas and they always come up in february so that's the great great time for our daffodils but anyway yeah um so i got one two three four four artificial flowers and with all of y'all out there with me today i i'm tickled punch that i found four and um yeah one two three four yeah four so yeah so y'all go get you some flowers and um look for the honeybees because um they're out there and it, if you run into penny shoppers, tell them Miss Peggy said hi. So I'm going to let y'all go. And hi-dios from North Texas. And goodbye from Cowtown. And I'll see y'all in my next video. Bye now.